Hi, I'm Dr. Alexandra Jung and I'm a lecturer at Curtin University and welcome to one of our many chemistry labs here at our Curtin Bentley campus. Today we are going to calculate the percentage yield of our ethyl ethanoate product. So firstly we have to work out how many moles of each of our reactants we have present in our reaction mixture. And to do that, we need to know the densities, which I've listed here um, for our calculations. So we know that density equals mass over volume. So to work out our moles, we need to work out the mass of what we've used. So if we rearrange this equation, we then have mass equals density times volume. So for acetic acid, our density, multiply that by the volume, which gives us 20.98 grams. For our ethanol, we do the same. Mass equals 11.838 grams. We can then use that to work out the number of moles. For what we know, number of moles equals mass on molar mass. So what we can see now is that we have 0.349 moles of our acetic acid and 0.257 moles of our ethanol. We now need to refer to our equation to figure out which of these things is the limiting reagent and which is in excess. And we know from our equation that one mole of acetic acid reacts with one mole of our ethanol to produce one mole of our product ethyl ethanoate. So knowing that, we can just compare these numbers. This value is smaller than this value, which means that our ethanol is our limiting reagent. We only need 0.257 moles of our acetic acid for the reaction to take place. But we have more than that, so that's why we have an excess amount of acid. Okay. So therefore, we know this is our limiting reagent. So we use this number in all our calculations because we know all of this will be used up in our reaction. So this means the number of moles of our product is equal to the number of moles of ethanol that we used. Using that value, we can actually calculate our theoretical amount that we should make. And to do that, we use the same equation, number of moles equals mass on molar mass, but we need to rearrange it now. We then have mass equals number of moles times molar mass. So that gives us a value of 22.64 grams. Okay? So that's how much we should make of our product. We then compare that to how much we actually made of our product to determine the percentage yield. In order to do that, we just need to convert our volume of our product into a mass so that we can compare. Mass equals density times volume. The density of our product is 0.902. We multiply that by our volume and that gives us a value of 15.79 grams. So now we can compare this number and this number to work out our percentage yield. So our percentage yield equals mass of our experimental over mass of our theoretical times 100%. So if we use our values, we have mass of experimental, which is 15.79 grams, divide that by our theoretical, 22.64 grams times 100%. Therefore, our percentage yield is 69.7%. We hope you have enjoyed learning about the esterification experiment today and found it knowledgeable. If you'd like to find out more about studying chemistry or studying a science degree at Curtin, head to study.curtin.edu.au.